Bum, 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 bum. I really wish they gave me a hint of like, oh, oh okay, I found where to go. <laughs> oh, not this loser again. I wish we killed him when we had the chance. He's late, too late, I say. Curse you, Philip. How much time does it take to purchase a magazine and some donuts? I hate this dude. I hate 90% of like dukes and snotty nobles. How long does he intend to keep me? Hey. You. Oh, didn't I see this noble in the castle during the coup? So this is where you've been, Duke Dunan. What's going on? Don't make small talk with this loser. Oh, have you no shame, you brigand? Because of you, all because of you, I have been forced into this life of shame, house arrest of all things. You deserve it. Okay, I don't think it's really fair to say it's our fault. You're the one who brought the Colonel Rich brought into Colonel Richard's plan, you know. You should probably count yourself lucky it's only house arrest. He deserves death, honestly. Execution. Anywhere else and you'd be facing jail time at best, even if you are nobility. Ugh. I confess that imprisoning her majesty was out of line, perhaps. Richard may have suggested it, but I should have gained sh I should have gained said him. So you can actually admit you were wrong about that whole deal. That's pretty humble coming from you. Do not misunderstand me. I love and respect her majesty. As both a ruler and an aunt, and an aunt she is utterly above reproach. But to consider naming a little girl like Claudia as her successor is simply madness, unacceptable insanity. Now just a second. Chloe's smart, studious, kind, merciful. She's got all kinds of virtues that attract people to her. What do you get off in calling her a little girl, huh? Mmm, that's not my point. It may well be that she's possessed of incredible potential, yes? But does she really possess the mindset required to become the next queen? Oh, well. Claudia has always seemed allergic to attending public ceremonies. I'm far better known among the citizenry while she remains a veritable ghost. She has not once publicly demonstrated that she's ready to stand above others. Still, why from what I understand, she's hiding her true identity while living as a student. And as if that weren't enough, she wastes her time at some backwater orphanage. She should be presiding over the common rabble at ceremonies, not wallowing in the mud with them. That is the purpose no of nobility, to stand above all the other men in lordship. I'll admit, I don't really know much about the purpose of nobility, so... You might have a point. This guy never has a point. He, he sucks. We should kill him. We should have killed him back in Sky 1. <laughs> of course I do. But I can say this. Chloe's trying her very hardest to figure out what she wants to be, and is helping us out in the middle of her, his own, her own problems. And she sure as hell is doing a lot more than some duke who sits around doing nothing because he's under house arrest. What? You dare. You can judge whether Chloe could be a queen once she's found out her answer. Heck, I bet even you'll accept her then. Ugh. Oh, this is absurd. I will deal with this no further. Be gone. Trust me, I don't want to stick around. Though, come to think of it, I need to. I gotta ask one thing. Has a little girl in a white dress come by here? What are you talking? No, no little girls have come by. Be gone. Yeah, sure, enjoy your donuts or whatever. I want donuts. I hate that dude. He's not even a dude, he's a scumbag. Ugh, I'm fighting the urge to strangle that guy. I'm struggling the urge to kill him. He's all acting like he's the most innocent person in the world while Chloe... While insulting Chloe at the same time. There's no need to get so worked up, Estelle. As much as I hate to admit it, Duke Dunan was approaching something like a point, I think. People who must stand above others, people who lead, can't afford to show hesitation. They can never let their donuts show and must always display an air of confidence in the eyes of their people. But Chloe is... I know, honey. Chloe knows what she needs to... What she needs to, regardless of what that man may say. We just need to give her time to find her own answer. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, let's get back to finding our lost girl. After you. I hate Duke Dunan. Bum, 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 bum. The Villa Library. Is there a book you're looking for? A girl? No, I haven't seen her. Can't be too hard to just find this girl. I wonder if I actually need to play like a minigame of hide and seek and find her. Like a Breath of Fire 3 esque minigame? That would suck. Seems like she's not hiding me here, huh? Really, that girl making fools of grown ups? I wonder if Raymond hasn't already has already found her. 
Or maybe go back to Raymond and he did find her. You never really know. It could be anything at this point. I guess I can try that. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hello. There's no one near the bench. She's not behind in the bench or the planter. Hey, maybe she's in the planter. She'd have to be as small as a cat to fit in there. Yeah, I guess not. Maybe I need to be examining with this stuff, too. Yeah, okay, I have to be examining stuff, too. This part kind of blows. There's no one near the bench. I need to be, like, doing something else because, like, it's noting in the notebook. So I'm not talking to people. I'm probably just examining stuff. Maybe I had to do that thing with Duke Dunan. Who knows? Bum, 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 bum. Gallery sounds like it'd be something. Fine art is lined up here. Yeah, but no little girl. Throne of the Last King, a chair much favored by the previous king, Edgar III, during his time at the Herb Villa. Yo, Edgar, FF6. Love that dude. Probably like the best. Other than Saban, probably the best FF6 character. A big scarlet pot sits here. Hey, this is the pot that had the spare key when we freed the mayor. This is sort of an actual kid-sized pot, so maybe she's in here. I doubt that, unless you think she's so skinny as to squeeze through that thin and opening. Ah, good point. There's a beautiful plate here. There's an Eastern-style pot here. Bum, bum, bum. I am not sure where to look now. I'm just gonna have to like go into all these rooms and examine stuff. Or maybe go back, maybe I'm supposed to go back to Raymond at some point. Hello. How's it going? Find the girl yet? Nope, no luck so far. I'm gonna try searching a few more hidden spots before calling quits. Yes, please do. Oh, that's Raymond, okay. So we gotta, we gotta just keep searching. I'm well, yeah, yeah, I talked to you. I remember. Where else could I possibly look for this child? Oh, this is Duke Dunan. Do not want to bother with that right now. We didn't look in the front here, did we? Have, you, have I seen a girl in a white dress? Well, yes and no. After all, despite how marvelous I look, I lived over 70 years. I'm sure I've seen one little girl in a white dress. I couldn't say when or where. Haha. -ha. Thanks for the no help at all. You could tell if you really listen. They're gonna coo coo just like pigeons should. Ah, yes! You've played Tales of Berseria. A girl in a white dress. I've seen a number of girls, but I don't remember how they all looked. I'm really sorry. Would you mind asking someone else? Huh? What? A girl in a white dress? I'm pretty sure I didn't see her. No way, sounds like, yeah, try giving some food, yada yada. These kids are no help at all. Ooh, fish. I will gladly fish here. I was gonna miss that. I was a little later on that. The liberal carp. I think I already have that fish. Oh, I need to examine something else, I think. Um. Bum, 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 bum. But wait, this was examined? Oh, it's a talk. Okay. Alright, here. Still checked under the counter, just in case. Hey. Huh? Something the matter? Haha, <laughs> you could say that. Oh, I find her. Ah, I lost. 
Don't know how I was supposed to know to do that. Oh, this is this girl. I was gonna guess it's that little girl before. Her name was like Ren or something. What the? Aren't you the girl we met at Air Letton? <laughs> I thought it might be you, Ren. Hello, miss. I'm happy you remembered me. I was expecting her to be an acquaintance of yours. Acquaintance is probably a strong term. I mean, actually, no. Acquaintance sounds about right. So your name is Ren, right? That's right. Sorry for keeping it a secret, mister. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. But Ren, why did you run off and play hide-and-seek like that? I was worried. Because I'd heard Miss Estelle was coming. I wanted to play hide-and-seek with her, so I worked really hard to find a nice hiding spot. <laughs> well, okay. It's kind of incredible you knew it was us coming. You said your bracers, right? I heard some bracers would be coming. We are, yeah, but... We're not the only bracers in the world, you know. It could have been someone else. She's psychic, calling it. But I believed. I knew you'd be the ones coming, or that. And see, you did. I guess I can't argue with that logic. You absolutely can. Well, putting that aside, where did your mother and father go? Why were you playing all alone? Wow, miss, your clothes are funny. Don't you get cold with your belly out like that? <laughs> oh my word. You get used to it. It's very com- Uh, but that's not the point. About your parents. And your skin is so dark. You're from the south across the sea, right? <laughs> Are you really okay with how cold it gets here? <laughs> I traveled all over as a performer with a circus, so yes. I'm fine in heat or cold. More to the point. Would you mind telling us what happened to your parents, Ren? Oh, uh, okay. So where'd your papa- where did papa and mama go? I'm not so sure either. Wait, you don't know? Not at all. I came here with papa and mama to play. But after lunch, papa gave me a real serious look and said, Ren, papa has something important to do, so he and mama have to say goodbye for now. But don't worry, once it's done, we'll come and get you. Be a good girl until papa comes back, alright? They just... what the hell? I'm already 11, so I said I'll be good, papa. And after that, papa and mama left. Oh, well, this is quite a bit worse than I imagined it would be. I certainly wasn't expecting something like that. What should we do? This sh seems to be quite a bit beyond just finding her parents at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. Sherry, you think we should? You don't even need to ask. I'd never leave her like this. Don't worry, Raymond. We'll take care of this girl for now. Huh? Hey, Ren. Do you want to visit the Capitals Bracer Guild with us? I bet we'll be able to find your papa and mama easy peasy. Really? But Papa and Mama said they had something important to do and wait to do and wait here. It's okay, we'll definitely find them. Trust in Miss Estelle, okay? Hmm, okay then I'll go with you. Thank you, Miss Estelle. It's okay, stick close by though, Ren. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Whew, thank you again. Take good care of her. Don't worry, you can leave it to us. So let's get back to the guild house. <laughs> Dude, she was just like... Grilling Sherazard with those questions? That was funny. I like that a lot. Yo, Kai, welcome to stream. Let's go this way. Okay, so she's a companion character. She's just gonna be, uh, we have to protect her or we get the game over. Back to Grand Cell then, and we might have side quests to do. You mind? This is a scenic route's pond. We could probably like fish here or something. Yeah, there's a fishing spot here as expected. I'm a gamer. Got the dace. Too good. Hey, another LeBro carp. I already have that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Get punched. And the stell whacks you in the face. Nice. So yeah, this is back to Grand Cell. Ah, yes, you are. Oh, is this a uh, Philip? Oh, hey, it's Philip. Yeah, the the butler of Duke Dunan. I feel so bad for Philip, man. Philip's actually a cool dude. Mrs. Stell, it's been some time since you last met. Have you been to the villa recently? We have actually. I guess you had to go to Grand Cell for some reason. Yes, I was making some purchases on the orders of His Highness, the Duke. I am so sorry. <laughs> Did you perchance encounter His Highness while you were at the villa? Unfortunately. We've encountered him, alright. From your expression, I take it he said something thoughtless to you once again? What else is new? As his retainer, you have my utmost apologies. Ah, no, he wasn't really rude to me, specifically. You don't need to apologize. I wasn't bothered one bit, I swear. Your kindness does credit you, Mrs. Stell. Now I fear I must be off if you'll pardon me. Uh, I guess Philip's job is even harder now. He's been taking care of Dunan since Dunan was young, right? Huh? You really shouldn't underestimate him. Even I can tell he's not just any old guy. Huh? What do you mean, Ren? Oh, um, you know, like how he can talk with his- walk with his eyes closed. I'm sure- I sure couldn't do that, words. I can't read. I think they're just narrowed, Ren, not closed. I mean, you notice how he opens his eyes when surprised, right? Really? I didn't- I want to see, I want to see. Maybe I can get a good look if I surprise him next time. <laughs> this small child. Bum, bum, bum. I'm probably going to stream for like another hour because I am getting really hungry and I did not eat enough lunch. Plus, my backlog for Sky 2 is really big. I think there's like almost 30 videos that aren't even uploaded. Okay, let's get back to the guild. We need to talk to Elnin about Ren. That's very important, yes, but the army should be setting their contact soon. You didn't forget, of course. Oh, uh... Oh, Estelle. Huh? What's wrong? You said you are going to show me to this guild place, right? Oh, right. Come on, Ren, I'll show you the Bracer Guild. Yay! If I go an hour, this will end the stream. We'll be at part 60, which means we'll be right back. I'll be my videos will be right back even as they should be. We'll be exactly 20 hours in the game. We're back, Elnin. Oh. Ah, you've returned. Is this Sid? Oh yeah, it is. Hello again, Miss Bright. We seem to be running into each other quite a bit these days. Well, hey there, Colonel Sid. Ah, so Cassius sent you to help us. That makes sense. You came from Lyston, I'm guessing. That's right, I just arrived here a little while ago on one of our patrol ships. I, sh I apologize for the wait. No, it's okay. We actually had a little job of our own to take care of. Huh? Speaking of which, would that young lady be... Oh, right. Yeah, she is. Some stuff went down, so we had to bring her along. Hey, Ren. We got some things we need to talk about with the army man. Could you go wait on the second floor? Oh, is this work stuff? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess I don't mind. You're just like Papa. It's always work, work, work. I don't really like that very much. I mean, like, the world's gonna end. Who knows what's gonna happen with Ouroboros. They still remain. Aw. Um, Ren? I can play with you for a little while if you want. I want to get to know you. With you? Well, okay, I guess we could. <laughs> okay. We'll be on the second floor, Estelle. Um, how cute. The children are playing. Whew, saved by the Tita. Well, your report on the situation can wait for now. Let's hear out Colonel Sid first. Sure. Go ahead, Colonel. Thank you, I'm in a hurry myself. So this is an official request from the Royal Army. There's a series of incidents we'd like you to investigate. Incidents? Why does the way you say that make me shiver a bit? You're aware of the non-aggression pact, yes? I'm afraid threatening letters have been delivered to all parties involved in the signing. Someone's threatening the treaty? That's not good at all. 
What did the letter say exactly? Please have a look. To all parties involved in the non-aggression pact, immediately back down from this act of deceit and false compromise. Should you not, a great disaster will be visited upon you. Oh no, the Grand Fall. They're gonna have a uh, the uh, they're gonna have the whole Zemirian continent like clash or whatever. What in the? Well, that isn't very open to interpretation, is it? Is this the entire letter? Yes, that's the entire thing. As you may have noticed, there is no name or any other indication of a sender. Normally, I'd simply dismiss it as a prank, however. However, something about the situation makes you believe it's more than a bad joke, yes? Yes, it's the volume of letters sent, you see. The first arrived at Lyston Fortress. Copies were then sent to the airship company, Grincell's Cathedral, Hotel Rowanbaum, and the Liberal News Service. Then copies arrived at both Arabonian and Calvard embassies, Durbroil Villa, and even Grincell Castle itself. Nine letters in total. Who'd send that many letters? Yeah, that'd be a whole... That'd be a lot of work for a prank in poor taste. I can see why the army would start to get concerned. It's strange, though. The airship company, the Liberal News, and even the hotel and cathedral. None of these locations have anything to do with the signing, do they? They are not totally unrelated, to be honest. The airship company shall be sending out care charter vessels to ferry the Imperial and Republican officials here. They will, of course, be staying at Rowanbaum. Furthermore, the church, or specifically Archbishop Current of the Cathedral, has been asked to be an observer at the signing. And the Liberal News has been preparing a special report on the pact and signing for weeks. So they're all connected somehow. So do we have any idea who's behind it? That could be a little difficult to question- a difficult question to answer. This is an international matter, meaning anyone from Liberal, Erebonia, or Calvar could be responsible. Yeah, the Warhawks are neither the Empire or the Republic, for starters. It could even be someone from another country entirely who isn't happy to see all three countries working together. Of course, there are plenty of suspects in Liberal as well. And we can't forget the obvious answer, the society. So what will we, what will we, what will we be investigating, Colonel? Right then, the mission. We'd like for you to investigate all the locations that have received the letters and see if anyone has any further leads. Minus Lyston and Herb, that is, we'll handle those. The other seven locations are yours. So the airship company, Grand Cell Cathedral, Hotel Rowanbaum, Liberal News, the Erebonian Embassy, Calvardian Embassy, and Grand Cell Castle. That will involve a bit of walking. More to the point, uniformed soldiers asking around would attract a great deal of unwanted attention. Now that you lack an intelligence division, it makes sense to ask the guild to help investigate such matters. As embarrassing as the situation is, you're exactly right. Without a functional intelligence division, we're very limited in what we can do. However, the new general plan from the top brass, brass is to have the guild help us with as many tasks as possible. That is simply one case of that. Oh really? Thanks a heap, dad. Now now, take it as a sign of Cassius' faith in us. I must admit, it was my request to ask for you, however. I've been placed in charge of the defense of the capital region until the signing ceremony. I would like as much information as I possibly obtained in order to prepare a proper defense. Can I ask you to take this job? Oh, well, I do want to help. But we're really kind of hip heap in another case at this point. That girl, right? Let us hear your report on that situation now. I see. Yes, an abandoned child is a problem you simply cannot ignore. Why would anyone do such a thing? It's kind of freaking me out, too. I actually met her parents once, briefly. They seem like this really thoughtful, loving couple. They adore Ren, from what I saw. I have to think something really, really serious happened to them to make, her, make them leave her. Possibly. They may have gotten entangled in something and wanted to keep their child out of it. I do see an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, however. Huh? Ren and her parents are foreigners, remember? You'll need to inquire at the hotel and embassies regardless. Hey, I think I know where you're going with this. Ah, and all those places were threatened. That is rather handy, in an unfortunate way. The airship company may have travel records for them as well. I'll put out a general alert to all army posts to watch for her parents as well. Should they pass through any of that gate checkpoint, we should know. Thanks, Colonel. Sounds like you can take the job after all. Colonel, you may leave the investigation itself to us. I presume you'll- I presume you'll want- the final report in paper and in person, however. Yes, we'd prefer to avoid telephones and avoid any risk of interception. You'll be able to find me at the Herb Royal Villa beginning today, actually. I'm sorry for the extra trouble, but could I ask that you bring the final report there in person? Sure. We'll see you at the villa once we know what's up. I wish you luck, then. 
After seeing Colonel Sid out, Stell's team decided to split up to investigate. Stell, Zinn, Olivia, and Chloe were to head to embassies, Grand Cell Castle, and Liberal News, while Sherazard would investigate the cathedral and... Okay. So we're separating. Okay, we'll be heading out. Tita, Ren, sorry to leave you two behind. Oh, it's okay. We're gonna go out shopping. Uh, what? Sorry, Estelle. Ren really wants to visit the department store. Why, that's not how I remember things, Tita. As I recall, you were the one who said she wanted to look out... Look at all the stuffed animals. Oh, Ren. <laughs> well, um, I know you're bored, Ren, but since I'm not sure when we'll find out something about your parents, I'd like for you to wait here. Oh, come on. That's not so fair. That's so not fair. Double doe eyes stare. I don't really see a problem, Estelle. If Tita's with her, it should be safe enough to let them go out shopping and around the city. Tita has a gun. It'll be fine. Tita can protect her. I guess so. Okay, Tita, Ren, we'll be back by this evening, so you need to be back by then, too, okay? And the capital's a really big place, so don't get lost. We will, and we won't. Ren, let's go. After you. See ya, everyone. This will be fine. Nothing will happen in the slightest. Tita has a gun, it'll be fine. They sure have become fast friends. Yeah, it's really easy to become friends at that age. Man, youth. I feel all old now. <laughs> Although Tita and Ren together, why does that combination send a chill of doom down my spine? <laughs> oh, I think they'll be fine. Tita's kind of easy to push around, though. I get the feeling Ren might try to drag her into all kinds of stuff. That might be a good point. Ah, uh, yes, Elnin. Did you find out the names of Ren's parents? It took a little insistent asking, but she eventually gave them. Her father is a traitor from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia Hayworth are their names. Traitor from Crossbell, Harold and Sophia Hayworth. Okay, got it written down. As do I. Let's start asking around about them in these letters. So remember, Estelle's group will visit the embassies, Grand Castle, and Lebrun News. Zinn and Olivier will be counting on your aid at the embassies. Fear not, my brilliant smile can open any door. We'll make sure you see the amb ambassadors. Your Highness, your help would be invaluable at Grand Cell Castle. Please introduce Estelle to whoever can best help out our investigation. Of course. As for Liberal News, I believe you, I believe you, I believe yourself have an in for that, Estelle. Yes, I can bug Niall about it. He kind of owes me at this point. And that leaves Cathedral, the airship, and Company, and Rowan Bomb. Shares our good luck with those. I shouldn't have too much trouble. I'll try to be quick. So let's go. Time to get questioning then. Where should we start? Don't think it matters too much. If you want to go to Calvardian Embassy, you got a free pass with me around. I can introduce you to Elsa whenever. I, of course, can get us into Arabonian's Embassy. They should be glad to escort us if I introduce myself at the gate. And, of course, I rather doubt it'll be hard for me to get us into Grand Cell Castle. It might be wise to simply go straight there and speak with Grandmother. I kind of doubt Liberal News will give us any trouble either, so let's pick a direction and go. Any side quests? Missing exhibit. Ooh, short. Not a particularly valuable item, so it's like one of our exhibits removed as someone east block near landing port. I hate to do this, <laughs> I really do, but I am like really hungry and I feel super lightheaded, so I'm gonna wrap up here. If it just feels like a good spot to wrap up anyway, and I don't think I can read dialogue for another hour, even though I wanted to, so I'm sorry about this, but. We'll, we'll get back to Sky 2 on probably on Thursday because I have a one-off stream that'll be fun to do. Either on Wednesday or Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday because I have a one-off stream that'll be fun to do. Probably I'm going to do that on Wednesday or Friday, but I'm going to end here because I don't think I can read for another hour. So I'm sorry about this, but those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. This will help my backlog as well. When we come back next time, we'll get to investigating these areas. We have to do this side quest, it looks like, or it'll close off. So we'll do this side quest and then we'll get to investigating these areas. It'll be a fun time. So yeah. Tomorrow, we'll do Tales of Eternia. On Wednesday, I have a one-off stream planned. It's it's something that I can just do, like, not even a playthrough, just something fun we can do. Kind of a playthrough, but not not really. But we'll do that on either Wednesday or Friday. Um, So we'll do Sky 2 on either Wednesday or Thursday, depending. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.